In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy a house in Zelda Breath of the Wild, how to upgrade it to the max, and I'm going to clue you in on a little extra side quest that'll get you the Hylian Shield, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, also known as Phil. If you want to learn more about Zelda Breath of the Wild, then be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my weekly uploads. And if you like this video, and it helps you out, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. Okay, so the first thing that we've got to do for your journey to home ownership is we got to find a house. There's one located in the west side of Hatino Village, and if you take a look at the map, you'll find Furley Pond, and it's sitting right below that on the map. Now the house can be upgraded multiple times, and it'll add a wide variety of things to it such as placeholders for your swords and shields that you'd rather not take into battle, but it can also be upgraded to a place where you can sleep for free, but it doesn't add any extra hearts like it would if you stayed at one of the inns on a soft bed. So once you find the house in Hatino Village, you'll want to find a guy by the name of Bolson. He's the guy in the pink pants, and he's the boss over the two guys that are trying to knock the house down with iron sledgehammers. Guys, leave me a comment below. What did you think when you found this dude in pink pants? I mean, who in the world wears pink pants in Zelda? Now when you talk to Bolson, you can tell him that you'll buy the house and he'll offer it to you for an outrageous price of 50,000 rupees. And no matter what your response is to his offer, he lowers the price down to 3,000 rupees instead, but you'll be given a side quest called the Hylian Homeowner, which includes gathering 30 stacks of wood to get you started. So head to the wooded area to the west side of Hatina Village. Over there, you'll have plenty of trees to chop down for the wood. Now at this point in the game, you should have your round and square bombs, and you can use those round bombs to knock down the tree, and then the square bombs to chop up the wood. That way you don't destroy any weapons in the process, and you'll also easily take care of the weak enemies in this area. After about 5 minutes of collecting, you should have the 30 stacks of wood. So, head back to Bolson and let him know that you're ready to purchase the house for 3,000 rupees and that you have the 30 stacks of wood as he requested. Now something I want to point out here is that you'll need 3,000 rupees to purchase the home and then another 1,400 rupees to get it fully upgraded. So if you're struggling with rupees at this point, then I'd recommend heading over to the Dueling Peaks Mountain. Specifically, teleport to the Shi Vanir Shrine if you've got it and farm the stone ores in this area for rupees. I've got another video coming out soon that explains the best and easiest ways for getting rupees, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. So after you've bought the house, you'll be able to upgrade it even further, but after speaking to Hudson. He's one of the workers and he's sitting on the right side of Bolson. After a short conversation, you'll find out that Hudson is heading toward the Akula region to build out a new town that'll be called Terrytown. Now, here's something super important. After you complete the Hylian Homeowner quest, there is another quest that you just found out about from Hudson. If you head over to the Akala region, you'll find the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, where you can buy ancient armor and weapons and such, and you'll find a small spot of land that is south of the Tech Lab, and Hudson will be over there chilling, waiting for you to help build the new little town called Terrytown. Now, this quest is kind of large, and it'll send you back and forth all the way across the map, and I've got a full walkthrough coming, so watch all the way through this video and you'll be able to click on it at the end. And you're going to want to do this because it'll unlock a secret shop where you can buy some awesome high level gear and it includes the Hylian shield, so be sure to check that out. And so once you've talked to Hudson and you've got the cutscenes out of the way, the house is yours. You'll start out with the bare minimum, which is basically a single wall mount for a sword, but if you talk to Bolson, he'll let you know that he can provide upgrades for 5,000 rupees. But if you keep talking to him, he'll do each upgrade for 100 rupees instead. You can request a total of 14 upgrades to be completed on your house. And some of the upgrades are for the inside, such as more sword plaques, some lighting, and a bed. But some are for adding flowers and trees and even a sign to the outside of the house. Now one of the things that I don't like is that you can't make multiple choices for the upgrades. After each upgrade, you'll have to go back to Bolson and request each upgrade separately which can kind of be a little annoying, but it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get it fully upgraded. And then once you have completed all the upgrades, Bolson will actually supply a few extra pieces of furniture to the interior of the house, and you'll get the notification that the Hylian Homeowner side quest has been completed. Now don't forget to check out the other quest I mentioned earlier about Terrytown and the secret shop, and once I've got that video completed, you'll find it here to watch next. 
And if this video was awesome, then be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here.